Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and start a new farm. We'll go to Farm Manager. Go ahead and go to Ravenport, one of the stock farms. Uh, choose your character. Now I'm going to deselect all of these for our horse farm. Uh, I am going to choose one that is available on both console and PC and this is the Obstacles Horse Sport. You don't need this to set up a horse farm, but I'm going to do this and maybe at the end, if we have a few minutes, I will set up some obstacles. So the idea behind this series, if you watched my how to set up a debt free dairy farm, is that I want to show that you don't have to, when you're starting out in farming simulator, uh, go thousands of dollars into debt and buy 10 different fields and all of that. Instead, you can have a, a successful farm from day one. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. Now, we're starting out. You can see on the mini map down at the bottom. Uh, we're starting in the main area. So the first thing we want to do is buy that land. So here we are we're looking at the map. We're going to scroll down here. You can see if you press X um, on PC or whatever button it is on your console. And we're going to buy this little section right here. We've got 1.2 uh, million. So we're going to go ahead and buy our land. And now once we have our land, we're going to go and get rid of this debt. We want to get rid of that. So we'll repay, repay. And once we're done with this, we're going to know how much money we have left to set up our farm. All right, we've got over 600,000. That will go very fast, trust me. So here we are. We're at our land. We've got three fields. It looks like some sunflowers. And I can't tell what the other ones are. But it doesn't really matter what they are. We just want to get a sense of our farm here. Just a few little fields and lots of opportunity. Oh, this is cotton. I'll be honest, you don't necessarily want cotton when you're starting a brand new farm because it's expensive to lease the equipment. But with cotton, you can make a lot of money. So what we're going to do first and foremost is place, go to placeables. We're going to place our horse farm because why the heck not? So we'll just start off with a small one. And here we have this view of our little farm area. Now this looks like a nice flat spot up here. Maybe some something like that could work. Somewhere right in the middle. And we could maybe put a silo around. There's all sorts of things we could do. But I also like this spot down here. Now there's a trough on the side that faces the cotton field maybe we would want to rotate <clears throat> so we we'll use our arrow keys i'm sure there's an equivalent on uh, p on uh, console get it rotated around now i could move it a little bit closer there but i kind of like right about here okay now i've got that placed now the horse farm doesn't have a lot to it right uh, there's only a few things here we've got oh sorry we're back on the ground uh, so we've got a place to put to buy our horses to give them water and oats so these are the things we're going to need to get and if you're familiar with having animals on fs you also can have straw. You don't need straw, uh, but if you want them uh, to, to have everything they need, you need to provide them with straw if you're trying to get all of the categories fulfilled. So now we're going to hit P or whatever your, your key is to go to the store. And when I'm starting off a farm, I like to have medium sized equipment. Uh, everybody will have their own preference in terms of brand and size and all of that. Uh, I personally like case equipment a lot, but if I'm trying to, to cut costs a little bit, this Massey Ferguson is only 10 horsepower less, so I guess I'll go with that. 
So we'll get the Massey Ferguson. We'll put the front loader on it. We don't need to do anything special with the wheels. We'll go ahead and buy that. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and buy the front loader attachment. Now we need this bigger one because we're over 150 horsepower. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And then because we are going to be buying hay bales, we will at least purchase the bale spike. All right. So the other thing we're going to need to take care of horses is uh, water. So we can purchase this water tank. And we will need some oats. So we can buy oats for our horses right here. It tells us right on the picture that the oats are for horses. Now, some people will object and say, why are you buying oats? Oats cost are, are way cheaper to produce than what you're going to pay for here. Well, just hold your horses, so to speak. Um, we will. I'm going to go ahead and buy two bags just so we have a little bit. And we will buy two bales of hay. This is 4,000 liters, so that's quite a bit. Oh, I could have done two there. My, my fault. So we'll do two bag, uh, two bales of hay, and one bale of straw. And again, before people get upset with me, this is all just to get started. I would not recommend that you do this all the time. We're going to go ahead and buy this trailer, and here's why. So it says that it could do 12,000, but what we're going to do with it is we are going to put it as a bale loading wagon, and we'll use this to haul some of our toys back from the store. And you can always upgrade it later. We can put a little workshop in here at the farm. So we'll hit the tab key. Look at that. It's been 205,000. But and but we can, once we get all this to the farm, we can purchase our horses and get them. We'll be off to a great start. Now, again, this is this is all about making a debt-free start. If you are wanting to maybe buy more land, go for it. You absolutely can buy more. If you are wanting to buy more equipment so that you can do more of the farming on your own, you can do that too. But here's what's most exciting to me. Before the end of this episode, this, whoops, this will be the working horse farm. We will have horses that we can ride and train very soon. And that's really what this tutorial is about. If I wanted to make, uh, you know, show you how to spend the first 30 hours of a horse farm, that would be a different, that would be a different video. So if you'll bear with my rudimentary stacking skills here, we're just trying to get things going as best we can. just leave that on there. I'm going to put <laughs> one bag of oats on there, get everything strapped down, and I'll haul the other bag of oats. We're going to have to make, you, you can probably already see, we're going to have to make another trip up to uh, get the, what, the water. Bowser. I guess it's a Bowser. Right? That's the right word for it. Okay. So we'll put one bag of oats up here, and the other one we'll carry on the on the what? Uh, loading the bale spike. Goodness. Struggling with my words here. Here we go. All right. Got it down on there. Let's see if we can actually. Pull these tines out the way they were supposed to be pulled out. 
There it is. Finally. Sorry about that. I apologize for struggling a little on that. But we should be able to strap this down to, right? Looks like it's not wanting to strap that down as well. But there it is. I knew it would I knew it would cooperate eventually. Just gotta be a little patient with it, and I'm trying to get this tutorial done as quickly as I can for you, so rushing and farming simulator do not go together very well, I'll tell you that. After playing both FS15 and FS17, I can tell you one of the best things you can do is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the equipment. Don't spend too much time. Well, maybe this one's not gonna let me. There's. Yeah, it's, it, I think I need to come in at it at, on the other side. Right now. Goodness. Well. I'll tell you what, I'll have to come back and get that another time. You get the idea, if you took your time and stacked better, <laughs> you wouldn't run into that issue. I really wish there was a way to haul the water bowser on the front and then I wouldn't have to run back up here, but we'll make do. We shall overcome. Okay, alright, get the wagon, the uh, trailer with our bales on it get down there. I'm going to drop this stuff off, come back, grab the water bowser, and I'll show you how to place a water tank. And I bet in about three minutes we're going to have some ponies riding on our farm. So yeah, one of the things that I, oops, sorry sign, I would like to say uh, for just you know, folks who are new to the game, Farming Simulator is a sandbox game fundamentally. So you're probably, you probably clicked on this video because you want to learn how to have a horse farm. And you can set up all sorts of cool things in your horse farm. You, you can grow your own grain to feed them or you can plant other crops and then purchase oats for your horses and, and, and hay. What I would recommend with these three fields here, I would do one in oats because that will get you both the oats for your feed, but it will also get you pardon me, it will get you straw, which you can use for bedding. So I'm going to unhook the trailer there. I'm going to drop this bale here. Stop quickly here to place the water, uh, the water tank for the animals. This is in miscellaneous, and you go over to the water station, and it's going to give you this view up here again. I'm just going to put it. I'm going to put it over here. We can swing on by once we have our water tank and fill it up there. It's it's kind of a bummer that I placed it high like that. That'll make it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. If I was taking my time, I would have realized that I should lower it down, but I was rushing, trying to make sure that this video isn't too long for you all. So we'll get this Bowser, we'll run back down here, and fill it up with that water. We'll get We'll buy some horses and we'll fill all of our categories and we will have a horse farm set up. So I think I will buy four horses. Uh, there's a couple different styles that you can purchase here. Uh, one thing that's worth talking about if you've never made your own hay is that uh, with this game there's not Timothy or alfalfa. You don't have the different varieties. It's just grass. 
so you can plant a grass field and bale it or you can just use grass around your farm but the first thing you do is you mow the grass the next thing you do is ted it which is to sort of fluff it up so it can dry and then if you do a whole field i recommend using a windrower to put it into rows before you try to bale it up but if you want you can use a loading wagon and load the tedded grass it, which has become hay at that point you can use a loading wagon to load up the hay and put that directly in the, in the horse trough you can bale it into round bales you can bale it into square bales the horses don't mind whether it's loose or baled the game, as soon as you go into that trigger, the game will recognize hay in any of those forms. And the horses, <clears throat> excuse me, horses eat hay rather than grass. Uh, they don't deal with silage at all. Uh, they don't eat corn. They really only have a few categories. And I'll show you in the animal menu once we get situated here. The thing that's really nice about the way they set up the horses in this game is that uh, they do require a few things, but they also require training. And you know, without sharing too much about my own personal experiences with the game, I can say that uh, I've got some younger family members who really enjoy that function of the game, being able to train up some horses. So it, it, to train them, it doesn't require any special skills in fact all you need to do is have the horse be moving while you're on it and with about five minutes the value of the horse will go up five thousand dollars for every day you do that so it's it's for one thing it's totally worth it uh, and for another thing it's kind of fun you can ride your horse around and i'll, I'll show you how to do that here so the first step we're going to go into this area over here by this little dugout I don't know, I'm sure there's a technical term for that. I'm going to call it a dugout. Over here, see, it says open animal dialogue, and we'll buy four horses. You pick your favorites. We'll do a paint, we'll do a chestnut, we'll do a black, and uh, let's do Palomino. All right, and then we hit space to confirm. This is going to cost us 21000 and ta-da, they appear. So if you want, you can jump in here. This one's called Faith. They all have names. They're given names to start with. So you click on this animal. You hit the escape key or, you know, your menu key. And then we've got Jester, Zeke, Nirvana. Oh, it smells like Teen Spirit. Uh, and Faith. So if you want to change their names, you can do that. We can. I'll show you how to do that. We'll change. I like Nirvana. That's a neat name. But we're going to change this one to Midnight. And there you go. Now that one's called Midnight. So it shows us here the healthy... And they've been worked uh, for today, but this is their overall health. Now we paid 5,000 for this horse and it's only worth 29.75 right now. For that value to go up, you need to train it. Uh, but here's what we need to pay attention to. They have no water, no straw, no oats, and no hay, which is why we did all this work. So first things first, we will find out which of these troughs does what. So the ones that are slanted like that, that's food. So this one that looks like uh, it's curved, it looks like a bowl, that's the water. So we'll fill this up, this, and it'll give them enough for an entire week. So with that little, little bit there, that'll satisfy four horses for seven days. So we're good on that. Now let's get them some food. Conveniently, we brought food. And this is where, you know, if you if you had farmed these fields in the area, you could bring your hay straight off your own field or out of your hay bale storage. But for us, we just have it sitting here because we just purchased it. And now, don't be scared. When you do this, you think, oh no, it's not accepting. It actually has to be off of the tines. So put them up like that and then back up and ta-da! So it took that whole bale. So maybe it'll take a few bales. Which is potentially why we bought a 
with you. All right, so I'm going to hop out and unfasten these straps. Again, I apologize for not being the smoothest or the fastest on this work, but I'm doing my best. I can promise you that. Bear with me. I'm doing my best. So pull these tines up here. I'm going to have to zoom in and see if I can get this lined up just right. Anybody who thinks this game is easy hasn't played this game. That's my thought. Okay, so we've got our oat bag here, and we're going to do something similar, except it's going to drain out of the bottom of the bag. So you just get into the zone, into the area here. You don't really have to pull over it like that. I'm just doing that because it feels to me like it's going into the trough then. So it should take this whole bag, I would think. Uh, it'll probably take the one, the other one too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we can look, we've got all the water we need, a thousand oats, oh dear, you know, it's not even close to enough. Of course we need many more oats for four horses. In fact, four was probably too many, I probably should have started us off with just two horses. But that bale was 4,000, so we're part of there. So you can see the idea. We have 350,000, you could go buy more oats if you want, or you could wait until this field is ready to go. It looks like there's one up there that's fallow that you can plant in oats and you'll have yourself some oats. But I'm not going to mess around with the, the hay bale again. You, you have seen how to do that. Not complicated. Straw will be the same way. I'll show you where that goes. And then I will quickly show you how to ride one. And then we'll be all done with this brief course tutorial. Now, if you had done the elevation right, that wouldn't be so tricky, but uh, now this one might not disappear. I'm not sure if it will. Let's see. Okay, it didn't disappear. So you're panicked. Oh my goodness. It didn't disappear. What we need to do with this, if you look over here, the straw did not disappear. It's a sad day on the farm. I don't do that. But what we can do is purchase in the store. You go into, pardon me, you go into the animal area and you purchase one of these. So you could do this instead of getting a bale spike. It is. one of these I believe it's you have to match the number with the front loader that you have so this one FZ60 would be this one right here you buy this and then you put the straw bale into that or if you're gathering straw you can dump straw into this area and it will accept it I'm not gonna do that on the video because uh, we're running out of time to do that kind of thing. So let me show you how to ride them and uh, get to go. So let's, so you walk over to the horse, say hi, midnight, and then you hit E, and look at that, there I am, on the horse. So you hit the arrow key, and now I'm just walking, right? But let's go take a ride around our, our fields here. You hit the space bar to jump. It's not the most realistic thing in the world. But see how we're walking? We're, we're moving right along. Now let's hit this again. We'll go to midnight. See, midnight is already at 6% of daily riding. Now, I believe that we don't need to the day that we bought them. But the second day, see, midnight's already moving up. But the second day after you've done this, it will bump the value of the horse up. You can do this, I believe it's it's several days. I can't remember how many days. But it, the horse will eventually be worth $50,000. So I guess it's 10 days of training. $50,000. And then you can sell them. Now, of course, I just 
I just used the animal dialogue box and had these horses delivered. But if you wanted to, you could buy a horse trailer and haul the horses to the animal dealer. Sorry, I was concentrating, making that very significant jump. Okay, now, before I let you go, this is bonus, this is a, a mod, I don't, you know, everything I've done up until this point is absolutely vanilla. But one quick mod that I'll show you is, you can go to your placeables, uh, and You can do 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 decoration. You can purchase these things. That was the mod that I showed you at the beginning. This is in the. Uh, you don't need to go to a special mod site. You, you can get it right from the Giants mod area. So I'm going to uh, be very sophisticated and do one of these fence obstacles. I think this little area up here would be nice to have a couple obstacles. So. We will... I'll spin this. Oh man, we gotta have the flowers. I put the flowers on the wrong side. Oh goodness. The, they're gonna be some horse people mad at me. Okay, here we go. We'll put one there, put one there, and we'll put one there. Now, obviously there's a whole bunch of these you can... And yeah, here, just for fun, we'll put one of those up there. And we'll, we'll jump over that on the way back. All right, do we want to go on midnight? Let's take, let's take faith. All right, gotta have faith. Here she goes. Here it is. Now you can change the, the texture, on the ground if you want. Okay, made it. <gasps> Boom, got it. Look at this. Look at this. Can we get this turn? Nope, not gonna get the turn. Let's let's circle back around. We can't just not do this, jump. Nail the jump. Come on, baby. Let's nail the jump. Nail the jump for the fans back home. Ready? Boom. Got it. All right. Well, as you can see, I set this up being kind of silly around the horse farm here. But if you wanted, you could you could really do a lot and make a beautiful training area and have a blast with your horses. It's really, like I said earlier, it's a sandbox. It's what you make of it. So hopefully you all had a good time learning about how to set up a horse farm here on Farming Simulator 2019. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section. And hopefully next we'll set up a sheep farm and a pig farm coming up soon. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>